Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What is up, folks? I hope you are having a glorious day after WrestleMania, because I sure am. Man, was WrestleMania awesome. Am I right? Austin 316 back, by the way, folks. Real Estate 316, get the swag, click the notes below. Use promo code HWTV10 for a 10% discount. Now, I know all the realtors out there are like, what's going on? He said that this was the video tour, and he's talking about Stone Cold. I don't understand. We're getting to the video tour. Calm down, Susan. Calm down. We will get to the video tour, but we had to discuss the fact that Stone Cold appeared on WrestleMania for the first time in almost 20 years. That's big stuff, okay? Now, on to the other task at hand. The other task at hand, of course, is the cash flow, right? This bad boy right here. We're warming her up, warming it up, warming it up. Whoa! Wait, nope, nope, not yet. Yes! Look at the cash flow! Ho -ho! $104,900 on a Garfield Heights duplex, folks. Your eyes, they're not deceiving you. That right there. Woo, boy, that is true, y'all, because I want a bidding war on this. I want to I wanna get a battle royale going. You get it? That was another uh, wrestling pun. I'm a funny guy. It's what I do. I make jokes. Look at this thing. It's in pretty darn good shape. Am I right? Uh, we're managing this sucker. Uh, we have one vacant unit, and obviously you see you got, uh, like, a little bit of love. You know, got to clean it up, probably repaint it. And what I'd really like to see, you honestly don't have to do this, uh, but this is what smart money would do. Smart money would uh, update the kitchen and the bath, right? It's time. Could we get you a tenant in there without updating this kitchen and the bath? Sure, we could. But you know what? You're going to max out your rent if you update it. You're also going to max out your desirability, which is going to keep butts in your units, which, folks, that's how you make the most cash flow, okay? We should be able to get eight and a quarter out of this thing if we upgrade the kitchen and the bath, right? Now, this is Garfield Heights, and this does have a point-of-sale uh, inspection requirement, right? For anybody out there who has never heard of point-of-sale inspections, Garfield Heights is a city in the Cleveland market that requires it. Uh, guess what? Uh, coincidentally, your boy Jay Wise here has a video on what that all means and entails in the notes below. So you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in figuring out how the point of sale works. Buyers will need to assume it. Sellers not going to do any repairs. But guess what? It's minimal. As you can see, this house is in great shape, right? All we have to do as required by the POS is remove all vine growth from the garage. It's a little ticky tack stuff. Seal uh, the concrete block cracks, refinish the rear uh, porch floor, replace missing siding from the south end of the front porch, and clean the railings, right? That in conjunction with knocking out a unit turnover and doing a new kitchen and bath, I think all in, right, before you get this thing fully cooking, right, because the other unit's already got a tenant in there, before you get this thing all in cooking, POS clear, we're probably looking at, I don't know, like about 15, right? 15 G's, right? So if you're lucky enough to get it at 104.9, which I'm not saying you will be, right? That's that's like 120. Folks, that is a friggin' $140,000 property right there. Y'all know how hot the Cleveland market is, especially uh, Garfield Heights. Oh, guess what? Other benefit, you don't have to mess with the new Cleveland lead paint regulations that are confusing the heck out of everybody right now, right? How many of you out there watching the show today have no idea what I'm talking about when I say new Cleveland lead paint regulations? Probably a lot of you because I'm not seeing any realtors discussing them in their listings in the Cleveland market. As a matter of fact, last time I checked, there was 90,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland and only 7,000 of them have been lead certified, right? So that means there's a lot of buyers sellers, landlords, and realtors out there who have no idea what the new lead paint regulations in the city of Cleveland mean. And guess what, folks? I'm here to educate, so I've also made a video about the lead paint regulations in Cleveland. 
That's in the notes below. But luckily for everybody here watching this show right now, on the day after WrestleMania, the greatest day of all time, you don't have to worry about that because this is Garfield Heights, and Garfield Heights does not have those quirky uh, lead paint laws. Now, back to this house, though. Like I said, it's banging. We're going to knock out the POS, knock out that year in a tune, unit turn uh, for about 15 Gs. Other than that, this thing's smoking good, dude. You got all the stuff you want, right? It's got the good bones, so to speak. You got, like, essentially newer furnaces and hot water tanks, updated electrical. The exterior is looking bank, folks. And I priced it in a way that's going to allow you guys all to battle each other. Probably going to end up selling it for above list. So bring me your highest and best, folks. Submit your offers to sales at holtonwise.com. If you're paying cash... Proof of funds. That means money in your bank account. I don't know how many times I get offers where people are like, cash offer, and then they give me a hard money lender pre-approval. Folks, I don't know how many times i got to go over this, but I'm here for the newbies. I'm here to educate. I'm here to teach. I'm here to help learn you something. If you submit a cash offer, you got to have cash, a hard money loan, what was that? What did I say? What? What did you say, Jay Wise? I said a hard money loan. Hard. Hard. Money. Loan. Hard money loan. Hard money loan. Say it with me. Hard money loan. What does that mean, folks? A hard money loan. L-O-A-N. Four letters. Loan. It's a loan. A hard money loan is a loan. If you're using a loan, you don't have a cash offer. So, uh, cash offers require proof of funds, money in your bank account. Go ahead. Uh, you can black out your account numbers. We don't need to commit identity theft on you. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate here in the Cleveland market. I'm doing okay. I don't need to you know, open up an Amazon credit card in your name. Uh, so, go ahead and black out the important stuff. But I need proof of your cash. And guess what? I went on that rant, so you might be thinking, well, dang. I wanted to use traditional financing. Hey, that's okay. We accept that too, just as long as you know that your loan is, in fact, a loan. Don't tell me your loan is cash because if you tell me your loan is cash, that means you don't understand what cash is and you don't understand what a loan is, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to be smart enough to make it to the closing table, so we're probably not going to accept your offer. But if you're getting a loan and you know it's a loan, hey, we could totally work with that because this property is in great shape and financing is one of the key reasons you want to invest in real estate, folks. You put down 25%, the bank kicks in 75% real estate is freaking awesome. You can't open any other business where they give you a 30-year loan for 75% of the value of what you're doing. Imagine you're trying to get your Etsy shop selling dream catchers off the ground. You can't go into Chase Bank and be like, hey, man, can I get $75,000? Me and my girl, we selling these gnarly dream catchers. They're going to laugh you out of the bank, okay? But with rental properties, you can do that. So pre-approval uh, letters will be required uh, to submit the finance offers, but we love us some finance offers because if you got a hundred grand cash, why utilize it on this duplex and only get two rental income checks when you could split it up into four duplexes just like this, and you can get what? What is that? Two, four, six, eight rental income checks a month. Let's go! Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.